Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I started the day with some stretching because I am aching after yesterday's gym session. This vlog will mostly cover PR unboxing and cleaning but with a few fun other things sprinkled in so I really hope you enjoy. I received this Charlotte Tilbury parcel the morning I started filming this video and I was so excited to see it contained lip products. Charlotte Tilbury lip products are some of my favourite. These are some of the most popular shades from the Hot Lips 2 collection, which supports Women for Women International UK. It's a charity that assists women who have been affected by conflict. How beautiful do these shades look, and the packaging is so stunning too. In Love with Olivia of course caught my eye, so I opened it up to have a look at the colour. I love the little lips stamped on each lipstick, and the shape of these bullets make them nice and easy to apply. It's a very nice, pretty, dusty rose, and I cannot wait to try the others because most of them are new to me. They also very kindly sent over refills for each lipstick. The next PR parcel to arrive was from Fenty Skin. These are both from their Cherry Dub line. The first product is the Super Fine Face Scrub, which I think might be a little bit too harsh for my skin, and the second one is the Triple Action AHA Body Scrub. Just so you know, this week was very unusual in terms of PR. I don't normally receive even half this amount and I'm incredibly grateful for everything I'm sent. The next parcel was from Armani Beauty, which is so exciting. They did actually send me a couple of their eye tints about a month ago and these two new shades look beautiful. They have more of a shimmer to them, whereas the ones they previously sent me were matte. This little bundle also included the Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer, which looks beautiful, and the Eyes to Kill Classico Mascara. I can never resist opening makeup straight away so I had to take them out of their boxes. How beautiful do they look? Here are the two eye tints swatched on the back of my hand. I particularly love the lighter one which is called Shell. This is the mascara. I really like the look of the wand so I'm interested to try it out. Cult Beauty were far too generous with this package but they did also give me a new discount code for you which is OliviaXCB. It'll give you 20% off your order. I'm just whizzing through the contents, they are all sun protection related items. I'm so intrigued by a few of these products, including this Nukes, I think it's pronounced, dry oil, the Clay de Peau facial SPF looks stunning as well. I also really like the look of the Sam McKnight Sea Spray. I do already own a couple of these products though, and some I'm not particularly interested in, like this tanning oil, so I'll include them in a giveaway on my stories at some point soon. I'll pop that discount code in the description box down below by the way, it's not an affiliate code or anything so I don't get a commission if you use it. Oh, I absolutely adore the Alpha H cleansing balm so I will definitely be trying their SPF. This Elemis SPF 30 Marine Cream is a dupe, I actually just bought one and I already also have this Super Goop Unseen Screen. I haven't tried many dry oils before so I wanted to swatch this Nukes one on the back of my hand, beautiful, very subtle. I had about 30 minutes between logging off from work and needing to leave for the box in Soho for an event, so I kept my makeup quite simple. The event was hosted by MAC, and the dress code was Dress to Impress and Wear Your Favourite MAC Lipstick. I love their classic lipsticks, but the Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Sticks have to be some of my favourite lipstick formulas ever. I'm wearing Stay Curious here, which is a pinky red, and I lined my lips with the Refi Lip Sculpt in Dusk, which is a slightly deeper red. The last time I went to the box was 10 years ago, and the shows were definitely not what I imagined to be PR event friendly, shall we say. But this event was quite early in the evening, and the shows were fun, nothing too scandalous. I managed to find a small, very dark crevice in the corner with a good view of the stage, so I was pretty happy bobbing along to the music and watching the acts. Was the club so dark I tripped over twice? Yes. But was the club so dark no one saw me trip over twice? Also yes. I left at about 8.30 once the shows had finished, and travelling through Soho reminded me I really need to come here more often, there's something so vibrant about it in the evenings. A quick lipstick check proved what I already knew, which is that the slim stick lasted beautifully. I got a nice early night and the following day was far less glamorous. I clean my flat once a week, usually a Saturday or a Sunday because I work reasonably long hours during the week. I live alone and I find as long as I stay regular with my cleaning it never gets too dirty or untidy. I tend to do maintenance cleans with the occasional deep clean. I'm just playing a little time lapse of me disinfecting the surfaces, cleaning the sink, putting some dishes away and cleaning the cupboards. I definitely struggle to motivate myself to clean most of the time, but I find giving myself quite a short period works well. So for example, I'll start to feel a bit hungry at 11.30 and I'll say to myself, okay, 
we have 30 minutes to clean the kitchen and then we'll have lunch. I want lunch so I kind of bribe myself into cleaning beforehand. I do really admire people who enjoy cleaning but even with fun music it's just not what I want to be doing. Little and reasonably often for a short period of time is my approach. There is something so satisfying to me about watching time lapses of people cleaning on YouTube so I hope you enjoy this. I watch them literally every day so I felt like a proper home YouTuber filming this. We were actually on a tripod that was standing on my sofa so not the most advanced of setups but we'll get there. Once I'd cleaned the kitchen I went downstairs and discovered a mountain of parcels so I brought them up to my flat and placed them and myself on my living room floor. Let's open them up together. The first one was from MAC and it was in celebration of National Lipstick Day. As this little note says, the parcel contained a selection of their best-selling shades of lipsticks and lip liners. And there are a couple of really well-known items here, like the Saw and Spice lip liners and the Russian Red Lipstick, that I'm pretty certain I haven't tried before, so that's very exciting. As always, MAC were very generous. I do have a fair few of these already, plus backups like the Ruby Woo lipstick, so I'll include some of them in my stories giveaway. This next one was fun. This is my first time receiving Road PR and I've never tried any of their products, so let's have a look. The main messaging here is that what was a limited edition vanilla cake peptide lip treatment is now part of the permanent collection and it's called Road Vanilla. Let's do a little run through of the contents. The parcel contains the peptide glazing fluid, which contains a couple of my favourite ingredients, which are niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. Of course, the peptide lip treatment in the newly named Road Vanilla. I love the pink and the tube itself is now shiny, which is so sweet. I'm definitely going to test it and I'll probably post a review to either Instagram or TikTok, maybe both. They also included the glazing milk, which is a facial essence that contains ceramides. I find that my skin reacts so well to ceramides, I find them very smoothing. And finally, the rich face concentrate, which has some really hydrating and nourishing ingredients. I've heard mixed things about Rode, but I'm seeing increasingly positive reviews and I'm interested to try them. This parcel is from Carla Cosmetics. I was so excited when they reached out asking if they could send me some stuff. I was expecting maybe a couple of their pigments, but this box was full. The first item I opened was the Romance palette, which is an eyeshadow quad of different pinks. The attention to detail of the packaging is unbelievable. So much thought and care has been put into this. From what I've seen on social media, this palette is very pigmented, so I'm really excited to try it. Next is the six piece essential brush collection. I love how there are instructions on the back telling you how to use each brush and the brushes themselves look so nice and soft. I had no idea what this next one was, but it turned out to be this really pretty iridescent tumbler. I don't think I've ever owned a tumbler before, so that's exciting. And I didn't even notice until I looked through the hole at the top that it had products inside. I was too distracted by how pretty and shimmery the tumbler was. These little baby ones are the Opal Moonstone pigments and apparently they have a sheer pastel base colour with very intense sparkle highlights that have a glistening multi-dimensional colour shift. They also sent over a couple of their brushes that work best for pigments and highlighters and some shadow potions. This light one is the Opal Shadow Potion in Rockabye Baby and this kind of oil slick one is the Shadow Potion in Neverland. This is number one on my list of Carla Cosmetics products to try. How stunning is this shade of grey? And now onto the last PR parcel I received. This is from Isoclean. A few vlogs back I was using Isoclean to clean my makeup brushes and I bought a few of their products off the TikTok shop, so I'm really excited to have received this parcel. Of course I had to start by doing a squish test on the sponges, very squishy. The next item is a sponge pod, I assume for travelling, and this one is a brush pack. I'm slightly terrified of this next one. It's a brush cleanliness test and I honestly don't know if I could cope with finding out I'm not cleaning mine well. And finally we have some of their infamous cleaning products. This one is the brush cleaner with a spray top. This is the same product with the lid and this last cloudy one is a sponge cleaner. I am eternally grateful for PR but just to balance out the wild levels we've just seen let's open my Givenchy beauty parcel together. I placed this order myself, of course paid for it myself. First product is the Mini Prisma Libre 4 Colour Blush, which I've seen floating around on the socials for a while. The packaging is so satisfying and I love the little pink logo on the mirrored lid. At the time of recording this I have actually already posted a review of this blusher and spoiler, I absolutely love it. The second product is the Le Rouge Interdit Lip Balm in number 24. 
I have a very similar one that looks black but applies kind of like Black Honey by Clinique and I'm running low because it's the product I tend to bring to work with me so I thought I'd treat myself to a new version. I really hope this shade actually suits me. Oh, it's almost too beautiful to use and the case as well. Givenchy has never failed me. As we know, Sunday is nail day and I decided to go for green this time. This is Win Me Over by Essie. It's one of my absolute favourite nail varnish colours ever. It's also the one I get the most questions on on my videos, so if you're seeing a kind of antique green, it's probably this one. Over the weekend, I also do a clean up of my makeup corner. It's just the place where I put all of the parcels I've received during the week. I swatch different bits and bobs, see what I want to keep, what I want to give away. And then I arranged my skincare basket, which is here, and my makeup basket, which is here. This sounds very extra, but I also actually have an inventory of every single product I want to do a video on on my iPad. And here is my giveaway basket. After resting for a while, I had a surprise delivery of the sand I'd ordered for Putty's bath. If you're new here, Putty is my little hamster. She wandered inside, did a little poo, and then walked off, which I found quite disrespectful. But who am I to question the actions of a princess? Another thing I do on weekends is clean my makeup brushes. There are about 45 of them here, and I'm going to use the Coco Cosmetics by Chloe soap for the first time. I was waiting until I'd used up all of my other brush cleaning products before I started on this one and it smells delicious, it's the chocolate of strawberries flavour. Being able to just swirl my brushes around in it and then rinse them off made it so much easier. It took me 20 minutes in total and it would normally take me an hour. Beautiful clean brushes, I just left them there to dry for a while. I won't lie though, I wasn't expecting the tin to be used up after one use. Having said that, I did use it to clean over 40 brushes. And finally I got on to restocking my bathroom, and something I've been putting off for a while is tidying up this cabinet. I wanted to clear out some of the bits I'd accumulated in there, and also just dust the shelves. This isn't all of my hair care and skincare products, but they're the ones that I don't tend to use on a daily basis. The top shelf is for hair care, and then the bottom two shelves are skincare. The bottom shelf was so cluttered I couldn't really see everything that was there, so I decided to remove everything and just pop it on the floor. I didn't get rid of as much as I expected to, it kind of ended up being more of a rediscovering old favourites exercise. <laughs> it did give me a chance to clean the bottom shelf though, which I didn't do when I last had to look through this cupboard. Not too dirty, but worth the clean I think. Then I put everything back, managed to sneak in a little transition, and why yes, I do own about 700 cleansing balms and oils. I use all of these on rotation, I absolutely love every single one of them. And finally, I did a little shush of the top two shelves just to make sure everything was nice and clean and organised. I'm planning on filming and posting these vlogs maybe once every 10 days or so, or every couple of weeks, but I'd love to know what you think, if you enjoy them, if you like the voiceovers. Also, if there's anything in particular that you're interested in or not interested in, I will not be offended. I will link absolutely everything I can in the description box. I'll also include that cult beauty discount code. And now we have a little end screen.